Hey guys, Sean Tiberio here, House and Home Construction. Uh, we're getting ready today to get started on doing a custom pour in place concrete countertop. Uh, this is going to be a couple part series, obviously, uh, with the, the extensive work that goes into this. So, got some things we still got to do to get the, the site prepped, get ready to start laying our sub forms uh, down. So, we'll get that part taken care of and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we got uh, the rest of the prep work done. Uh, as you can see, we had to add some cleats against the back of the wall. Uh, to help support that that back side where we got some dead space so it's time to go ahead we're going to get the, uh, the parts cut to uh, screw down here and uh, we'll come back here in a second and talk about that Most of it's starting to go down. We still got to attach this piece uh, here. Uh, you're probably wondering what the heck this is that we're even using as our uh, sub forms here. It's basically just it's it's hardy backer, uh, concrete board, just like a dirt rock. Same thing that you would use in a, in a tile uh, in install, uh, especially in showers, floors, that kind of area. Nice, solid, rugged surface. Uh, plywood has a tendency with with concrete to pull the moisture out, rot itself out. We don't want that going on here in the kitchen, so we're using a nice, solid concrete subsurface. Uh, is our sub form so we'll get this part attached down for the island we've got some other things to, to go around and do uh, sealing out all of our cracks our corners uh, against the wall that kind of stuff so we can get ready to start setting the forms that way it helps uh, eliminate the concrete from wanting to, to squeeze its way down through there so pretty soon we'll be ready to start forms and uh, prep work and get ready to, to put the concrete in Top down, got everything all sealed, ready to uh, put our cutout in for our sink. We're actually doing an undermount sink uh, on this one. This way, the concrete can come right to the edge of the sink, drop in, makes it easier when we're, we're doing some cleanup in the kitchen. So, got our template all marked out, got it laid out, everything's centered right where we want it at. We're gonna go ahead and grind this out, cut the opening out, and we'll go ahead and start mounting uh, the sink. We got all the corners taped, we got our wire mesh down, we got plastic around the cabinets to protect them because uh, doing concrete we're going to get some splash out. Uh, over here at the sink we've got the styrofoam in, yeah. to control how much is going to go down in there. Uh, we've got our plug ready to go for our, where our faucet's going to end up at. Uh, we're pretty much ready to go so we're going to go ahead and start getting some concrete mixed up, start getting it put in. Still a couple more minutes here. We've got to let them cure up a little bit, float some more of the water out. At that point, we're going to let them sit. Probably going to sit somewhere two, three days uh, before we start to go around. We'll crack these off. I'll probably be in part two uh, where we dive into polishing, starting to get the stain down, and then going to the, the final coat with the sealer. These things will be done at that point. So stay tuned, and hopefully, we'll see you on part two. 